Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Letabo Mambana Tisan and I'm back again with another YouTube video. If it's your first time up in this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can become part of the family. If you have already subscribed to my YouTube channel, shout out to you, you and I are buddies. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm so that this video can be spread out to other people in recommendation so that they can also enjoy the good content that comes with this video. So today is just another day in the life of a broke forex trader where I'm simply trying to make my money off of forex, trading forex life, and also trying to make my money online in 2023. You know, so um, I want to show you guys something interesting on USDJPY. I want us to follow price action on USDJPY and let's see how we can uh, take advantage of the market if we do follow price action religiously. So let's get right into the video and let me show you how you can follow price action um, Then you can make money from it So without any further ado, let's hop into my laptop screen Okay, so we are now on my laptop screen and this is USDJPY as you can see, we are on 4 hour time frame as always. Remember, on 4 hour time frame, what we need to see, we need to establish the market uh, market direction, market structure in other ways, you know. So, that's what we need to establish. Once we have established the market structure, then we look for a point of interest. Like I always say, we have three ways of, of denoting our point of interest. So, firstly, we need to check highs. And lows for point of interest secondly we need to check order blocks right so in this case we're going to look at order block right so we can very clearly see that this market is bullish from down there to the top there but what is the market reacting from we can see here that it broke structure to the upside right but we cannot uh, clearly say that this market is going up without breaking this structure here 
Right. So let me show you um, when we check on when we check at the left side uh, on how we can leverage from this market. So this market is bullish, right? So this market being bullish, what is it reacting from here? We can see here that price went down, but what is it reacting from? Can we leverage from this move here? We don't know, right? So we have to look left and see what is the market reacting from. So let's do that just now. So um, what is it reacting from? Let me see. So we can see here is an order block that the market could react from. Remember, on the point of interest, we're not going to st uh, trade straight from those order blocks, but we're going to wait and monitor price and see if uh, the market will react from that order block. Then if it doesn't react from it, then we move to another pair. So let's see if the market will react from that order block. Um, okay, why am I even wasting my time? Let me do it like this, and this is how we have it. Let me adjust and make sure that it's in the right position. Um, let me see. Good. So, uh, let me just refine it. So, it has now been refined. Let's go back and follow price action from there. So, we can see that this is bullish. But now the market has stepped into this point of interest and it has reacted to the downside, but it's now going up. So let's see if once it tapped into this order block, if we can leverage from that. Let's go to 15 minute time frame now. On 15 minute time frame, this is how we have it. This is how we have it on 15 minute time frame. So firstly, it is bullish as we, you can see. It's bullish and before it tapped into this order block, it broke the structure where? Here. So it broke this structure here. Alright. After breaking that or before breaking this structure, it left a low here. So this is the low that was left before price. Uh, before price broke the structure, it left this low. Alright. So this was the low that we were looking for, for the market to break. Right. So let's now... Uh, follow price action so this was a high low now higher high or should i say higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high so since it tapped into this order block it left this higher high here then the market went down to leave this low so let's mark that higher high there so this is the higher high that was left this is the higher high that was left right when the market was going down and it left the low which was this one so the market left this low here right and i want us to follow price action so then we were waiting right we know that price has tapped into our four hour time frame order block which is our point of interest in this case so we had a break of structure then we were waiting for this level here to be broken to the downside as of so to be our change of character right so then price pushed further up to break structure here then it pushed down it changed character here so let me just quickly label this um or it'll be a waste of time so this is bos break of structure this is chalk change of character so price plummeted and it changed character here so then once price changed character let me just put price somewhere here let me just do this so let's look on our right now so we put this level here so we want to see if price will break this level to the downside then we know that we can now sell the market so let's play price forward um price went up it went down it broke that structure and it went up again then it broke the structure further to, to the downside then let's play price forward there's nothing that we can do at the moment but the order block that we are looking at is this one let me just mark it so that we do not forget so this is the order block that we can certainly look out for all right the order block that we can certainly look out for then let's play price forward but we're not sure if this is the correct order block to be taking taking our trade from reason being is that we do not know where the market tends at the moment so we have to see a curve before we can 
now check if this order block is valid for us to take a trade from or not right because we need to pull our fibonacci retracement too so that we can see if this this thing is in premium or not this order block is in premium or not right so let's play price forward let's see if it will turn it kept going down it's still going down so now it's going up let's pull our fibonacci retracement tool then it will tell us if this order block is the correct one or not okay let's see so we can very clearly see that this is in premium reason being is that it's above 50 percent and it's also above 0 0.618 level so right we're gonna use this order block here then let's put our cell limit from here this is where we wait for our cell to be triggered and what are we going to target we obviously gonna target the level on 15 minutes right because we are still hopeful that price will come and break this level so let's adjust our stop loss remember our stop loss should be not over 25 pips so um, let me just put 25 pips let me just put 25 pips stop loss and let's see if we're gonna win on this trade or not so 25 pips let's see so that's where we have 25 pips so we're gonna let price run let's see so we are waiting let me just remove this fibonacci we are waiting for price to take us in and we're waiting to make money or lose money because this is forex at the end of the day so price is going up it's going down up up down up up and it take us in we are in a loss currently okay we are now in profit then pro price is going down it further plummeted we are in profit by the way so it further plummeted we're still holding right we are still holding and price is going down it's going down it's going down we are holding it's going down it's going down we are still holding then it retrace it's retracing and now it's going down up we are still holding we're gonna hold until we see if it hits our take profit or not so we are holding we are holding and it looks like we have finally hit our take profit boom this is where we hit our take profit and let's see how much we made let's see how much we made so let's say you were risking or you were trading with only 0 0.01 lot size then this is a clean 11 dollar 27 cent right so this is a clean 11 dollar 27 cent on a bullish market but when following price action to the downside then it will always align so you need to trade smart sometimes you can see price going up but there will all there will always be retracement you know what i mean so if there is a retracement you don't just take a trade but you for you still follow your trading plan so this is how we followed price action and we followed our trading plan and this is how we were able to make money so it's easy to follow price action just be patient and everything will fall into place so that's it in a nutshell like i said it's easy to follow price action and when you follow price action everything will fall into place so the most difficult thing in forex is waiting i always say this the most difficult thing in forex is waiting and again the most important thing is psychology so once you get your psychology correct then everything will just fall into place that you will even be surprised as to why why are, are things so easy these days you know because why you are following your psychology you are you you you, you actually aligned your psychology very well you know because that's that's the only thing that matters 90 percent of trading forex of or of forex trading is 90 percent i mean <laughs> is is psychology you know then skill will come after once you have skill that's 10 percent you need to then set your mindset right so if your mindset is not right then unfortunately you will still keep on donating to the market i'm not there yet but i'm getting there one day at a time you know so 
this is how we follow price action and this is how money is made you know so if you can just do the same thing and apply the same uh, trading plan i know this i didn't show you um, my full trading plan and i'm not planning on showing you guys publicly because it's for the people that are willing to 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 to, to be mentored by me then i will share that that trading plan with them then if you follow it religiously it it won't disappoint you it will not disappoint you so without wasting much of your time because i've already wasted so much of your time um i guess that's it for me and until then i'll see you in the next video enjoy the rest of your day peace